Elizabeth Hayes is one of several women working in the biochem lab this summer at IU South Bend. So I'm about to measure the length of different DNA strands. Hayes is a senior this year, and she's not yet sure what lies ahead after graduation. When I took this opportunity, I was trying to decide if I wanted to go to medical school or if I wanted to work in a lab, and now I know I want to work in a lab. So I'm looking at grad school, maybe PhD, we'll see. No matter what she decides, she'll likely be in the minority. That's because women are underrepresented in STEM fields. According to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics, less than 30% of the world's researchers are women. And the National Center for Science and Engineering Statistics data shows a greater share of men than women work in STEM occupations. It is extremely important to have diversity in, in all fields, but especially in science. Dr. Shahir Risk is an associate professor of chemistry and biochemistry at IU South Bend. Science is really based on creativity, and it's about inventing new things. And so having diversity of thought, having diversity of experience, having diversity of opinion, and having diversity of uh, just creativity, that's what brings this together. And now we can hear each other, and we can learn from each other, and we can create together. And whatever we create, hopefully, will benefit actually more people. And Risk believes diversifying STEM starts early. I tend to think it happens early on, uh, where stereotypes are kind of magnified, either intentionally or unintentionally. More than 60% of the people enrolled at IU South Bend are women. That's reflected in the STEM degrees as well, including in biochemistry, where RISC says the majority of graduates are women. This summer, half of the people in the lab at the college are women, like Alyssa Sonnenberg. We're working on creating a new biosensor for lactate, and that can have many uses inside or outside of the body. While IU South Bend has been diverse for years, it's not that way everywhere. I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity where there's like an equal amount of women and men because in past experiences, you know, I used to be really into engineering and robotics. I tried doing stuff like that, but it was predominantly men and I also wasn't treated as well for being a woman. But here it's really an equal playing field and I'm just incredibly grateful to feel like an equal with that. A new report shows women made up only 35% of STEM graduates last year and that in 12 of 122 countries, only one in four graduates were female. Why? Researchers find it might be because women are not encouraged to think about STEM careers in school, and some are put off by how male-dominated the industry still is. Hopefully at a place like IUSB, we can get rid of those stereotypes and give everybody the opportunity that they deserve. Risk says representation matters for students in the lab and for professionals in the field. I was raised not to think about limitations and more just go for things I like, things I'm passionate about. Hayes is passionate about science and she hopes to reach her dreams and pave the way for other women and girls along the way. I would say just go for it. Like if you like it, get involved, do the science fair, collect the rocks, <laughs> look at the bugs, all those fun things. I, I say go for it because it can grow and do a whole career for you and it'll be what you really want. Thanks for watching. Here's another story you may like. And subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel.